amazing. Pro tip, if you go to the back of the museum, there's a beautiful view with benches to eat lunch. <coughs> if you don't want to be bombarded by people, it's pretty fair. I'm trying to remember where I left off. Um, I was... So I hiked the Cayenta Trail to the Lower Emerald Pools. I could have gone up to the uh, Middle and Upper Pool, but my knee was hurting really badly, so I decided to not do that so that I could walk tomorrow. Um, I wish that I had had my hiking boots and my chest strap for the second hike that I did, the Cayenta one, instead of the Narrows, because, well, my chest strap broke after I was done at the Narrows. Oh, thank the universe that it didn't break while my new phone was attached to it when I was crossing the water, but it broke like on the bus back. I had to go back to change my socks and shoes because they were soaked and eat some food and take my medication. And then after I went to the lower emerald pool, I kind of did a loop from the grotto to the lodge from the Cayenta trail to the lower emerald pool trail. And then I took the bus down to the museum. I was a little disappointed with the museum. It was more of a gift shop than anything, but if you go out back, there is like a beautiful view. Um, sorry, there's people passing, but there was a beautiful view, view with a bunch of benches and it was shaded and really cool and there wasn't a lot of people there, so I would say that that was a good spot to like eat lunch, and I ate my lunch there. And then I hiked the Paras, Paras, I think that's how you say it, trail back down to my van. And I left. I was there for about seven or eight hours today. Hiked probably about ten miles, give or take. I wasn't really keeping track and I didn't have like my phone on my location or my watch or anything. It was no cell reception, no electronic zone. So it was awesome though. It was beautiful. It was like something out of like Jurassic Park. Like words can't even describe how amazing it is. And I really liked that most of the trails were ADA accessible. So even if you have less mobility, I saw people in wheelchairs going on these hikes like that was really cool and all of the shuttles are wheelchair accessible so even if you may not be able to hike for whatever reason you might be able to take a wheelchair out there and see those beautiful views yourself um what was i gonna say as well so yeah got back to the van and then i read that zion outfitters has showers. I accidentally went to the wrong place. It was like Zion Outfitting. <laughs> and I paid for an hour of parking and went in. I was like, hey, where's your shower? And they were like, uh, 15 minutes back that way. But Zion Outfitters is right outside of the park. And I was kind of grumpy from being up early and <laughs> being stinky. This one guy, <laughs> I was on the bus. <laughs> And as soon as, like, an extra seat opened up, he, like, got up and moved away from me. 
And this was in the morning. I don't think, I don't know if it was because I smelled, but I was like, God damn, I need to take a shower. <laughs> Just in case. But yeah, I went to Zion Outfitters and they have showers there. There was no line or anything for the showers. I parked in the 20 minute only parking and just like ran inside um asked the guy he directed me to the showers it's four dollars for five minutes and you get like little tokens the showers are really clean i would still recommend wearing shower shoes a thousand percent the flops i got at the dollar store were more than enough but yeah you have your own little room too it was nice and the shower was hot and clean and much needed and then I got back in my van and it was acting up. I'm going to be completely transparent about that. It was, it felt like it was shifting weird and I was like, oh God, it did this before and I took it to the shop and like by the time I took it to the shop, it stopped and they were like, whoa, whoa, and they charged me $300 to replace the sensor and it's still doing it. So, um, I did when I got to my camping spot. Notice the e-brake was on. The light only sometimes turns on to let me know that the e-brake is on and I was so tired. I was driving with it on like a dingus, like totally my fault. So I'm gonna let it rest for the night. I called a mobile mechanic and they might stop by tonight if they have some free time to look at it because the light is on, the check engine light. But I don't know, I'm gonna feel it out tomorrow. I wanna go Bryce Canyon. It's only two hours away. Uh, but I don't want to break down either. So yeah, I'm going to see how the baby's feeling tomorrow. And we might have a shop day where the car is in the shop while I do homework and edit videos. Or I might be heading back down to Arizona early, which I don't want to do because I'm all the way out here. Or I might be on my way to Bryce Canyon. I don't know. But I didn't want to deal with it tonight. I'm at the same camping location that I was at yesterday. I'm in a different spot. I'm like right off the road though. I just took the first spot since the van was acting up. I was just like, we're not, we're not messing around with that right now. But yeah, and I'm gonna watch the sunset.